The Swedish Saab 37 Vigen was initially developed to replace the Saab 32 Lonson in the attack role, and later the Saab 35 Draken in the fighter role. The first prototype of the Vigen was introduced to the public in Linköping in 1966. The first flight took place in February 1967. The Vigen had supersonic ability at low level, and Mach 2 ability at higher altitude. It was designed to be able to operate on runways, no more than 500 meters long. The Swedish Air Force's Boss 60 airbase system used regular roads as backup runways, to disperse their aircraft in wartime. The AJ-37 attack version began service at Air Wing F-7, February 23, 1972. The two-seater training version, SK-37, entered service in June 1972. The Maritime Reconnaissance and Strike version SH-37 entered service in June 1975, followed by the Photographic Reconnaissance version SF-37, which entered service in June 1975. The Fighter and Attack version JA-37 entered service in 1979 and remained in service until 1998, when some were upgraded. Some AJ, SF and SH-37s were upgraded to AJS, AJSF and AJSH-37 versions between 1993 and 1998. A total of 329 Vighans were manufactured between the years 1970 and 1990, not counting prototypes. Vigen saw active duty in the Swedish Air Force, between 1972 and 2005. Saab tried to launch Vigen as Eurofighter Vigen in Europe, but lost the competition to the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Saab also wanted to sell Vigen to India, but was prevented to do so by the United States. The engine RM-8 contained American parts. Today, a number of Vighans are kept in flying condition by Swedish Air Force Historic Flight. <laughs>